Under the roaring sound of the L, a long line of people standing in almost 90 degree heat on the aptly named River Avenue in the South Bronx, waiting for the foster pool to open late Thursday morning. As soon as I got in my car, I decided to come to the pool because it feels like it's 105 degrees. For Bronx resident Michelle, it was already feeling like a scorcher and it wasn't even noon. It's hot. Once inside, relief and some guidelines for all ages. No running on the pool deck. The refreshing water temperature hovering around 65 degrees. Of course, that's no consolation to the thousands of people who have no choice but to be out here on this, the first in a string of 90 plus degree days. No matter how many shaved ices you eat. There are indeed health considerations to keep in mind when it is this hot. And we made a deliberate decision to file this heat wave report from the South Bronx where hundreds of people came out Thursday for a health and wellness fair at Lincoln Hospital. In fact, because of the high concentration of concrete, buildings, and vehicle emissions, the South Bronx has been scientifically proven to register hotter temps than other areas of the city. That does not bode well for this neighborhood, which also boasts some of the worst air quality and highest asthma rates in the country. On a hot day like this where you have a heat wave. Matthew Shore of South Bronx Unite. When you're talking about heat-related illnesses and, and, and these other environmental impacts, it's only going to be, uh, you know, more disadvantageous to people who suffer from asthma. We have some of the lowest uh, tree canopy coverages. Bronxboro President Vanessa Gibson says she's pushing for the planting of more trees and not just for the shade they provide. Trees have the ability not just to create shade, but to also reduce asthma rates uh, and to really provide the health and, and wellness with a very holistic approach that New Yorkers really need. That plan that Gibson is referring to calls for a million trees to be planted across the city. I wish I had one right now because this light that my partner Darren McQuaid has me on right now, it's not helping. Wish I could be in that pool. It closes down at 8 p.m. Stay cool, everyone. We're live in the South Bronx this evening. Jay Dow, Fix 11 News. I mean, if you want to get in that pool, I don't know. The, the boss probably wouldn't care that much, Jay. I don't know. It's, it's hot. So we'll see. All right, Jay. <laughs>